Hi everyone, Jewel Mayberry here, back with another cool video on astrology. And today I thought we'd talk about Jupiter in Leo, which is a really fun transit of Jupiter, especially um, for those of you who are looking for romance or for um, maybe to have a child or for, um, you know, fun social occasions or even to see incoming money or gains. This is a really great transit for that. So I wanted to do this video today because we have a really cool conjunction going on right now with Venus, Jupiter, and Valentine, all conjunct in Leo at around seven or eight degrees. So if you have a personal planet here, um, and the opposition as well, if you have a personal planet opposite this in, in Aquarius today and tomorrow, um, pay attention because in the future you could be seeing something coming into your life that was related to this transit. And today and tomorrow could also be just a really fun day, a day um, filled with socializing, maybe some romance. Um, some great fun activities because Venus rules, you know, social life and Jupiter rules fun. And Valentine is the asteroid of one's true, truest love. So it'll be interesting to see what comes from this triple conjunction today. So pay attention. Um, so when we talk about this transit of Jupiter through Leo, we're mainly talking about um, the conjunction and the trine because those are the most powerful um, aspects that Jupiter makes when he transits. So the conjunction means um, Jupiter is going to go through Leo and he is going to touch, connect, be right next to certain planets in your chart if you have planets in Leo. And we would be talking about the inner planets mostly when we're talking about this transit in this video. The Ascendant, the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn are really the planets we're going to be talking about today. And when Jupiter comes through a house, that house uh, receives a lot of luck a lot of benefit um, because Jupiter is the planet of uh, help, of um, gains, of um, luck, and of help of all kinds. And it's really signals divine help. And we can see a lot of really fun stuff and a lot of really positive things happen when Jupiter comes through a certain house. So if Jupiter is coming through your first house, that would signal, you know, the, the body is strong. Um, your outer self is feeling good. Uh, the ego is high. The confidence is there. You know, second house would be um, incoming money, feeling good about yourself. Um, you know, it's values and savings and um, money that we earn. And, you know, if it's going through your seventh house, then, you know, that's a really classic, great transit for um, marriage and partnership. If it's going through your fifth house, then that would be, you know, really great for childbirth and for fertility. If it's transiting your eighth, then that's a great um, beneficial transit that's going to bestow a lot of luck when it comes to change and transformation and making um, big changes in your life. You know, that's going to be something that is a little bit easier that year. Um, if it's in your 10th house, then that's great for career and for networking and for um, all kinds of anything professional. If it's in your 11th, then that's great for friends, for incoming gains and for um, socializing and for seeing a lot of your hopes and wishes um, come to be. Um, so the trine that we're talking about would be for Aries and for Sagittarius people. For people that have their personal planets there, you know, the uh, sun through Saturn or the ascendant, um, this is really important because the conjunction, which is 
you know, when uh, Jupiter's actually moving through Leo and touching those planets and the trine, when Jupiter's moving through Leo and making a 120 degree aspect to both Aries and Sagittarius, this is a very beneficial aspect. It's in it's a, a good uh, conversation that Jupiter's having with these other planets um, or the ascendant that he's uh, looking at. So Jupiter is going to retrograde and go back through Leo and then come forward. So planets between in Leo or in Aries or Sagittarius between 12 degrees and 23 degrees are going to receive the most benefit from Jupiter being in Leo because he has he goes forward, he retrogrades, then he comes back. So there's these three passes. So you have these like three uh, opportunities for um, things that Jupiter brings to us. Um, people that have their planets or ascendant before or after uh, 12 or 23 degrees Leo in or in Sagittarius or Aries will have, you know, good opportunities and good luck and good gains and and um, great things associated with Jupiter, but it is going to be really maximum felt between 12 and 23 degrees in fire signs. So when Jupiter comes by our sun, we can feel a lot of optimism. We can feel um, a lot of uh, energy. And there's good things that come to us when it um, has to do with career and with our goals and what we're looking to get. Um, uh, we can get a lot of benefit from authority figures, bosses. Um, we can improve relations with our father or with uh, government. Um, things that the sun signifies, um, power, ego, outward expression, those things receive a lot of benefit. If it's the moon that Jupiter comes by in either a conjunction or a trine, it is things related to women and femininity and our feelings and our thinking. We can feel um, at peace. We can feel um, more nourished. We can see a lot of luck when it comes to a female. We can improve things with females in our lives or with our mother because the moon is the mother. Um, there can be um, an opportunity that presents itself that has to do with um, uh, a female figure that, you know, if we take that opportunity, we'll see that blossom into something bigger down the road. Um, if it's Mars that Jupiter's contacting, we can, you know, feel a lot of drive and a lot of ambition. And this is a great time for um, any kind of strength building or weightlifting or um, physically going after a goal. Or um, if you're in, you know, sports, this is a really great time to, you know, uh, really go after that medal and expect to win because our bravery is very much increased at this transit. Um, if it's Mercury, we can improve our communications, um, our relations with our siblings and our neighbors. We can see more short transit. We can see more um, close travel. We can see our mind um, thinking more clearly. And we can see um, incoming gains when it comes to um, pe people that have to do with mercury mercurial things. So, you know, things that Mercury rules, um, the communications, transit, neighbors and friends, um, siblings. So we can, you know, see benefit in those areas. If it's Mars, this is a really interesting transit when Jupiter comes by because he brings us karmic rewards uh, related to our goals and to how we have been using our energy and to our actual karma, what we're working towards in this life. So we can see um, it bring a karmic helper. For instance, 
when I had Jupiter directly conjunct my progressed Saturn, I met Seth and he came into my life and we started our working relationship and it was definitely, definitely karmic. His vertex is opposite mine and our angles all locked together and it's he's definitely something that was brought into my life at a certain point because he's a reward for me and definitely a helper and so when Saturn comes by or Jupiter comes by Saturn you know we can see um things related to karma and um uh, a teacher often or a partner that has to do with teaching will enter our lives, as it did for me. Um, if it's the ascendant that Jupiter comes by, we really have to watch our weight because it can pack on the pounds at this time. It can also bring um, a pregnancy or a chance for childbirth. It can signal a birth as well. Um, it is really great for our physical vitality because the ascendant is our um, physical self and Jupiter is all things that are good and strength and happiness and abundance. And so it can, we can pack on the pounds and we can also use this as a great time for um, putting on muscle that we would like to gain. Um, in Scorpio and Taurus, they have, um, the square going on to the transit of Jupiter. So if you have your Venus in either Scorpio or Taurus, you could see something really good come because you're going to see Jupiter come by and square your Venus. And that is actually a really good transit because it brings sometimes too much of a good thing even. So um, that's a real fun thing to look out for when that's going to happen and if that's going to happen for you. Um, I think that's all I wanted to, to go over today. Um, I will make a longer video later on going through the actual um, nuances of the houses that Jupiter will transit and what you can expect from each house that Jupiter goes through in more detail. So look out for that. And I hope to see you soon. And if you have any questions, um, contact me or Seth and please um, subscribe to both of our channels on YouTube and we will see you soon. Bye bye.